Hey folks, it's IOE Thurman back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Halle Mack in the T-54E1. And this is a Tier 9 game on Arctic Region. Look at that. I like that coloring. Except, it looks rusted. Doesn't it? Is it me or does it look rusted? On the, the like... Whoa, I always forget about that. <laughs> it's been so long since I've been staring up at the sky while playing Arctic Region. I forgot all about that. Anyway, so, um... He's loaded up a clip of actual rounds instead of the gold rounds that it seems like everybody uses on this thing. And so he's going to have to aim for weak spots or hit the sides of vehicles. And over here, he should be able to do that perfectly fine. T-49 has apparently decided this is where he should be. He's going to get one shot off and then he's going to die. Because uh, our team was going to know how long that re reload takes. Oh, he's got the little gun on. Okay, never mind. Um, he's still going to get one or two shots off in the die. Sir Lancelot has arrived. Unfortunately, Sir Lancelot is about to get clipped. Nope, apparently not. That's a that's one way. Sir Lancelot. I like that name. Um, yes, I know where it comes from. <laughs> I just... I didn't think I'd see it in tanks. I don't. I don't know why. Okay, so pressure on forty nine. He's looking for his opening. He's watch, waiting for everybody to be distracted. Now that they are, she comes in. Nice ram kill on the four, forty nine. Why waste your ammo when you only have so much of it? And one last shell into the low. He's not going to get the kill. Oh, and he's going to be face to face with an AT fifteen. However. He did spend his entire clip wisely. AT-15 is apparently shooting at other people. I don't know why he wouldn't shoot at... Oh, maybe he's trying to kill the little house back there. Okay, that I understand. Uh, now look at that. Scoped in on... We're going to fast forward for the rest of this reload. Because we know what he's not going to be doing. And that's going to be moving. As he starts unloading on this poor, poor guy. Doesn't get the kill. Does get two shots into him. So he's two shots down on the clip. The eight, uh, IS-6. I thought... No, okay. I must have been mistaken when I thought he spotted an IS-8 at some point. Duh, of course I'm mistaken. That's not in the game anymore. Ether, you idiot. Oops. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. So, he takes out the IS-6 more or less by... Um, I'm not going to say by proxy... Yeah, I guess he took him out by proxy. He tracked him and then let his team devour the poor guy. And so now we have a little bit of spying damage from tracks. But most mostly we just have main brute force damage on us. Um, and the enemy team is kind of stalled out there pushing on the top. And ours obviously hasn't. Ooh, that shell flying high. Unfortunately, that shell didn't. And that shell didn't. And this shell, assuming it connects, will kill him. And that is a dead STRV. Good. That's how you want STRVs on the enemy team to be dead. <laughs> With just under 4,000 AM, she pushes on. And he's going to reload and move towards uh, the center, looking most likely for this T-34-3, who's in fact still in the center of the map. Um, I guess he's probably hemmed in. And I, actually, I'm surprised he's not being farmed by the tank destroyers up there. But... Coming around this corner, he's in the perfect position for us to farm him. One, oh, unfortunately, that shell went high, and that shell does not. And uh, that is over 4,000 damage. Looking for the last one. Ooh, do not be out in the open with an object, or uh, an AMX over there, or you will die, good sir. Uh, he's still kind of in the open, but apparently not spotted by the AM my AMX anymore. Um, or just not targeted, I guess. AMX has other things to worry about. The Object 403, or 430, also apparently has other things to worry about. As he loads his last clip of, of um, non-premium ammo. He's looking at the AMX, of course, wants to take out his counterpart if he can. And I don't know if he's going to be loaded in time. This guy looks like he's about to die. He is, in fact, about to die. Object 430, though, is in a prime location for us to hit him. And now that he's stopped, ooh, the shell goes just beneath him, but apparently frozen by our shot or something. He starts backing up 
and basically gives us beautiful shots on him as we empty the rest of our clip into him. And that is going to be a dead 430 because the, uh, the sharks have all circled him. Unfortunately, our friendly STRE has crashed. Um, so yeah, that's that's how you have a great game in a T54 E1 without spending a drop of gold. <laughs> yeah, well done, sir. That was that. That was a lot of fun to watch. Um, we're going to jump over and see what his results were now. Master Badge first class. He hits the Bruiser Duos Fire for Effect. Two bonds. Okay. Uh, tank Sniper and High Caliber. Actually, I thought he would have earned more than two bonds for this performance, but oh well. Um, overall, almost every single shell connected. Um, I mean, some of the time he was obviously fighting weaker opponents, but <laughs> this was still a great game. And it was a ton of fun to watch. Um, almost 6,000 damage. He does, in fact, land himself in the 6k damage club via the spotting damage he did and the tracking damage. But, I mean, you can see compared to the rest of his team, he was far and above the carry on this team. If he wasn't in this game, our team would have struggled for a long time and then died. <laughs> Probably to this guy. <laughs> uh, but the Object 430 made some crucial mistakes when we were raining shells down on him. And he just started, you know, basically hovering in the same location. And if he hadn't been doing that, if he had been continuing to push for him, he probably could have gotten kills and gun into cover, and then it would have been a completely different game. But no, he just stayed out in the open and let us farm damage off of him. Um, considering this is not even a premium account and he still makes money, even without any personal reserves running, um, obviously no premium time running, nothing else running, this is a great game, and I tr truly enjoyed seeing it. I can't wait to see your next one, Alan Mark. Um... I'm looking forward to the next one you send us in because this was great. And um, I can't wait till the next one someone else sends in. Preferably, you know, actually, I really want to see somebody send one in this week who hasn't sent me a game in yet. That would be amazing. And uh, we'll all cheer for that one, right? So thank you all for watching. Have a great night and enjoy the bonus clip as I always throughout.